Welcome folks, Jason Hoppy here to show you the ins and outs of working with the Curvature Tool. Now the Curvature Tool has been around for the last few generations in Illustrator. And the Curvature Tool sits in your toolbar next to your Pen Tool. And I can tell you I have always been a fan of the Pen Tool since the very early days. And the Curvature Tool came out to help people draw with the pen tool because the pen tool can be a little complex but the curvature tool has a lot of little tricks in there that actually make it really quite awesome and I was a little bit skeptical when it came out but you know what it's a pretty cool tool so the curvature tool is used both for drawing and editing any shapes or paths and when you start with the curvature tool if we start from the very beginning here I've turned on my grid structure to help me snap my points to the grid. You don't need to do the grid, but if you did want to follow along, you could go into the view menu and you could go ahead and show the grid right there and then also snap to the grid so that your points that you land with the curvature tool will snap to the grid. It just makes it a little bit easier to show you what I'm going to show you when we're creating shapes. Not necessary at all. So with the Curvature Tool, when I begin with the Curvature Tool, starting something very simple, understanding what the Curvature Tool does is very important. I'm going to start off here. I'm going to land a single point, and I'm going to land another point. And when we bring this up, I'll get a stroke on there. When I bring that up, you'll notice that I've just created a straight line by clicking at one point and clicking at another. Now, when I begin to move my curvature tool beyond that second point, I notice that I have this line that's showing up here. And this line doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the two points that I've just landed. Well, this is the curvature tool. And not to be confused, but you can draw straight lines with it, and you can also draw curves. When you click on one point, and then you click on another point, you're going to get a straight line, because it doesn't know how to curve. But in order to explain how this actually works, think of it this way. Think of this as not actually just drawing a line, but look at this as like a pegboard, where you've got your grid structure, and the first point that you landed is kind of like a peg that you put in the board, and the second one is another peg. Now, think that you're having like a yard or a meter stick, and you're going to connect it to the first point here, and the second point here is kind of the point in which that meter stick or that yard stick wraps around. So there was your first point, there's your second point, and if you want to go and do a third point, you can see here how we have our basic beginning point. It's going to then wrap around this point, and if I come to another point here, it's going to give me a perfect curve coming around. Now the reason why I'm using a grid structure is that I can create perfect shapes with a grid structure. And I'm going to create a perfect circle here showing you how we start off with a straight line. So I've done a straight line and I basically have it um, basically three large squares wide. I'm going to come down here and I'm not doing anything special, just moving the curvature tool down to that point and I'm going to click. And you'll notice that that straight line then becomes a curve. Okay, so. We've basically curved our shape around this point coming all the way around. I'm going to go back over to this point right here, and you can see it continues that nice flowing curve. And then I'm going to come back to the original one, and I've just created a circle that quickly, just by landing on four points. Now you can see here that I have a basic square in which those points are laid out. So it's pretty awesome. Now, the curvature tool also draws straight lines. You can draw curved, you can draw, draw straight lines, and you can also edit anything in existence to turn it straight, turn it to curve. I'm going to delete this, and what's interesting when you delete a section of a path that you've created with the curvature tool, it will delete that point, and then it will go ahead and basically heal or close itself back up. I'm going to delete that again to get rid of that shape. Now I'd like to go over here and click on an existing path that I have. Because you may be creating new, you may be editing existing things. Now I'd like to activate this path and I could jump over to my selection tool and activate this path here and then go back to my curvature tool. But I'm going to show you something a little bit different. If I have my curvature tool and I hold down my command or my control key, I can convert that tool into the selection tool. 
So here I am with my curvature tool. Hold down my command on a Mac, control on a PC. Turns into my selection tool. I can activate that path, let go of my command or control. Now, with my active path here, I can click on a point to continue drawing from. So if I click on that point, I would continue drawing from that point. Or if I come and I touch any place along an active path, I can add a point that I can edit. And once I do that, you can see that I've added that point and I can now pull that along to take that point that I've just added and pull it out. Now the nature of the curvature tool is to give you a curve at every point. But what happens if you don't want a curve at every point? Not a problem. If I were to take this line and click on that active path and put a point and pull it out here, I want to go and I want to take this and I don't want these to be curved lines. I want these to be straight connecting these points. Not a problem. Go to that point that you've just created and double click and you get straight lines. If you double click, it's going to bring back your curved lines. Pretty cool. So why would this be of interest to you? Well, let's check this out here. I'm going to go back to my move tool and I've got my square here. I'm going to move it over and I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate this so it's rotated 45 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my curvature tool. There it is. And I can't click on the path here because it's not active. So I'm going to hold down my command or control and activate that shape. And now I'm going to click on the upper right hand side of this path and I'm going to land a point. Now I'm going to bring this point all the way up to the right here. I'm going to do the same thing on the upper left hand side. I'm going to click and add a point and you'll notice that my cursor shows me the plus next to it because that allows me to go in and add the point. I'm going to pull this up to the upper left hand side here and kind of snap that like that and I can move those points anywhere that I want to. And then all of a sudden we've taken a square and we've turned it into a heart just by using the curvature tool. No drawing, no nothing. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, there it is. Click on it with selection tool. You can move it, you can scale it, go back to your curvature tool and you've got all of your points to edit. So this is extremely helpful when you're trying to go in and create shapes. Instead of trying to draw this heart shape, you take the basic shape, you use the curvature tool to go in and curve any of those straight lines. If I wanted these to be points, I could simply activate that path, double click on any one of these points here and bring those back in. Oh, I double clicked and I added another point there, sorry. There we go, double click on that. And I could then take this in and I could move this in and create more of a shield. Okay. If I want that back, double click, turns into round, double click, turns into round. And I can bring that back and all of a sudden my heart shape goes right back to what it was. Now this works on any closed path or open path. Okay. So say you wanted to start drawing something and the nature of the curvature tool is always creating curves. So if I start off and I create a point here and I create another point here, my subsequent line is going to be a curve. But what happens if I want to draw a straight line? I'm going to go to that point that I just landed and I'm going to double click. Once I double click and then I land a point, you'll notice that I don't get a curve out of it. So I'm going to go back there, double click, and then come back here and then double click on that point that I landed, click here, double click on that point that I landed, Come back to this and you'll notice it creates a curve. Double click on that and it converts it to a straight line. So you do have the ability to have it act as the pen tool and you also have the ability to have it act as the curvature tool. And then, of course, anytime you have an active path, you double click on any point, it's going to give you the curve. And if you'd like to go in and you'd like to delete a point that you've just added or created, simply select that with the curvature tool hit your delete key, it will delete that point, but it will heal or close the shape back up. So this can be used very much as your selection tool, and it can also be used as a pen tool, but it also can be used as an add and delete anchor point tool as well, without really having to shift anything whatsoever. 
So this is pretty cool. If I hold down my command or my control key, it turns into my selection tool, and I can turn this into a shape like so. If I want rounded corners, double click in the bottom, and I get my rounded corners, or my rounded lines. So it's pretty awesome. This is also great for doing type manipulation. I have created a letter that I have outlined. You can go to your selection tool and see that this is outlined. And I can manipulate this by making it wider or narrower. But if I'd like to have a little bit of fun with this, go to my curvature tool, zoom in on this a bit so you can see. I'm going to go in, I'm going to add a point to the top of these, and I can simply around the top of these very nicely. Now, now I have my outlined H. If I double click, I can get little houses or fence posts out of those. Kind of cool. Double click again, and I'm able to go in and get the rounded ends. Pretty simple and straightforward, but it's a pretty cool system to be able to go in and take anything that you have and simply draw. If I have an open path like this, I'm going to hold down my command or control key and activate that path again. If I'd like to add to this, you'll notice that my paths are open here, those little dots, and then I have my solid blue one. That solid blue dot is basically my point where I can draw from, and you can see that I get my little um, rubber band effect coming out of here. Not a problem, okay? I didn't even have to click on it. It just showed me where that was. If I want to continue drawing this shape, I certainly can. You can see my little rubber band coming out here. I click, and then I come back over here and click on the original point. I've now closed my shape, and I can bring that all back together. Once I've done that, I can click on any one of these points, and I can move, and I can squish these little things any way that I want to. And here I can kind of create a leaf effect, and the way this is working is pretty cool. I have singular points at the bottom. These are not curves. These are just single points. And then I have kind of my curved points here. If I double click, you can see I turn that into a curve. Double click, turn that into a point. And of course I can move these points up and down the path here, which is something you can't do with the pen tool. These points just simply move along the path. I've created a leaf. Throw some green in there. We move the stroke around it and now I've created this cool leaf shape without having to draw it. Any shape that you have, very simple. You just take that shape, select it, and with your curvature tool, double click on an existing point. We'll go ahead and convert curve to corner points or vice versa. Click any point on that path and you can then go in and add a point which you can then edit and change and change the curve. So the curvature tool, simple, amazing, and there's so many little hidden things in this curvature tool that you can do. Do you notice how I really didn't create anything? I just took basic shapes and started moving them around, manipulating the curves, and it gave me all these really cool shapes. Definitely try this out. It's well worth it.